everybody happy Wednesday yay it's hump day almost there almost there it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood and um, thank you for coming back to day four of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway I'm so super excited you guys are playing along it is so fun this is so fun and I hate that it's ending soon but it is unfortunately um, so let's start with the winner from day three and the winner will receive two rubber stamp sets from little blue button stamps thank you so much Olga for participating and I did notice you left a comment Olga but I can't enter you into this giveaway but maybe the next one <laughs> it's funny so um I did say I'm like what would happen if you won I just call you to give you your prize or whatever but um it's funny so thank you so much Olga for your generous donation and congratulations to the winner and um let's move on to yesterday's question and the giveaway winner for that one so the question was your favorite actor or actress and why and oh my gosh y'all thought some of y'all said oh to make if you talked about um Shamar Moore any longer somebody I talked about him so long that made him forget they answer but you know Shamar serves a special place in my heart doesn't take it all just a tiny little place so anyway and some of you brought up some oldie and goodie ones so I have my little list here and I'll read off some of them so in the running for your favorite for whatever reason are Robin Williams rest in peace Paul Walker rest in peace as well um two awesome phenomenal actors um matthew mcconaughey cicely tyson um julie roberts don Cheadle, johnny depp cary grant kathy hepburn tom hanks wentworth miller if you guys do not know wentworth, wentworth miller he is the star one of the stars the biggest star of prison break and i'm not really your average you know i don't like all that gunfighting type show and that dark grim type but freaking prison break is awesome and i watched all of it on netflix like every day i was up late watching like two or three episodes i love love prison break and he's really a hottie so anyway wentworth miller who else idris ilba um sean connery can't forget sean connery j-lo squeezed in there denzel washington martin lawrence matt damon matt damon Channing Tatum, Kiefer Sullivan, John Travolta, and I cannot forget my girl Taraj P. Henderson. I hence I don't even know how I forgot her. Taraj, you girl, I got you. I just you know forgot. But yeah, that is my girl. She is she epitomizes a lot of things that I do or characters do. So I love it. Um, Angelina Jolie, she squeezed in there too. You know she's not my favorite. She's an awesome actress, but just um she's not on my favorite list because i'm team jennifer aniston who was on there as well so um anyway so those are some of the some of the ones that you guys liked so much awesome awesome lineup everybody on that list is a phenomenal actor or actress for whatever role they play in obviously because they're in hollywood so they're doing a good job so according to random.org out of 73 usable comments there were a lot more a lot of people replied twice maybe probably by accident because it's the same reply or um they didn't want to participate but they wanted to say you know this and this and this so 73 usable comments and the result generated at number 28 and i've already counted that down and the winner is my girl jennifer who is none other than beauty is virtue girl you won my killing so she put, um, congrats to Donna. I just love Matt Damon. Man, he is sexy and he can act. He is a family man and I love his sexy Boston accent. Hugs, Jen. You said it's sexy like five times, girl. Okay, we got it. <laughs> and y'all talking about me. So, Jennifer, your prize back is going to be awesome and you're going to love it. Um, please give me your information because you will love your stamp set from Little Blue Button Stamps. So let me know, girl. Let me know where to send it to. And then um, let's move on to today's question and giveaway. Today's sponsor is sponsored by da -da -da, Kitty Scrap Post, Louisa Diaz. Girl, her digital images are phenomenal. If you guys don't know who 
what her creations are, check the link in the description box. Um, I will put the link to her Zip store and her Facebook page. You guys can head over there. So the rules again is to like her Facebook page and then like this video and then leave a comment to today's random question. I'm going to insert a picture, try to insert a picture of this new kit that she has available on her Zibit shop. It is super shabby and the name of it is Tea with Teddy and I absolutely love it. It's like teddy bears with cups of tea and teapots and kettles and beautiful Tilda inspired colors. I love it and I cannot wait to play with this kit. And I did fussy cut some of, some of the teddy bears out and they're like a nice size for cards and the teacups. So, 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 so pretty. She has other pretty, pretty shabby stuff and other, um, I have a couple, few of her digital images um, that I've been playing with too, but um, check out the rest of her stuff. But this kid I am in love with um, and she is giving away um, a digital file. So I am super excited for her and you guys check out the links in the description box so you guys can see all of the goodness over at her zippy shop thank you so much louisa for playing your generous donation is awesome you guys will love it and if you not if you don't win check her out and get some digital images for yourself and start playing with it you're on your own so um links will be in the bar below so thank you louisa for today's question maybe some of you may cry maybe a tearjerker but it's awesome and with it being you know fall it makes you think of being thankful for things, you know, and um, Thanksgiving and stuff, and just being appreciative of reflection time and things like that. So today's question, um, random question is, what is your most memorable moment in your life? Whatever it is, whether it be the birth of your children, you getting married, you buying a house, any specific event, what is your most memorable moment? Try to um, type it out the best way you can so that I can, we can read it and we can feel your memory from it. We can feel the warmth that you're putting into it. Um, and then I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good to, for us to show some softer side and for us to share and interact with each other as we've already been doing. Um, I think it'll be a fun time. So with that being said, I'm going to share mine. Um, I'm the oldest of six children, so um, raised in Indiana, so we lived with our grandmother, my mother's mom, and she did a lot with us. My, you know, six kids is a lot to handle, and she did a whole lot, things that I'm sure my mother didn't even know, and if she's watching this video, mom, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but um, being the oldest of six, you do have a lot of responsibilities, well, I did. I did have a lot of responsibilities. I always look out for your sisters and do this and go pick this up and go to the store. And it was just a lot. So my grandmother knew that and she knew that at points of time I would get overwhelmed and it was a lot of responsibility for me. Um, and she was older, of course, but oh my God, I'm tearing up. <sighs> so she was older. So what she would do would be um, we would all eat watermelon outside and cantaloupe and sit outside and just spit the seeds. We would do that. Just sit outside and spit the seeds um, outside and just talk about just meaningless stuff. I was a teenager between, this happened between the ages of 13 and 16, where I remember the most. And one particular moment I remember, I got in trouble for whatever reason. I can't remember what it was for, but my, I was getting fussed at like on the way out, of the way out to school for some reason. And I remember getting on the bus and just being sheer mad, just like it's not fair and I just wish I just was never here, it's just too much responsibility or whatever it was. I remember being so angry that I never get to um, do normal stuff that other kids my age do because it's just a lot. And so I remember her coming up to the school on this particular day. And she, my grandma was styling, y'all. She she had her little wig, she had a little brown wig and her big brown sunglasses. And she wore this yellow suit. It was like all yellow, like fly collar, bell bottoms, uh, polyester pants. She had her heels and her little bag. My grandma had it together, okay? And she was older, but she had it together. You would not see her 
not together. She came up there and they called my name in school and they was like, Tamika, and my last name was Player then. She's like, Tamika, you know, all the intercom, yeah, please come to the front office. And it was like, ooh, and I didn't know what it was for. I thought like, like I got an extended trouble from being in trouble this morning. So I walk in nervously and then I see my grandmother in the office and they say your grandmother's here to pick you up she said there's been an emergency and i'm like oh my god so i go get my stuff and we run i run back to her and we go we get in her cat like she had a cat like a brown not a cat like she had a buick two-door buick the thing was like that long it was super long um but we got in a buick and we drove to chicago from indiana which is like 40 it was like a 40 minute drive 45 minute drive it wasn't long at all and we went flea market shopping that was my first experience going to a flea market and if you've never been to a flea market there's like under a big warehouse or storage or tent there's a whole bunch of little shops with little tables and they have little things and it was just all these things you can touch and feel and pick up and ooh and ah and antique and not and it was so fun and she came and she was like um I came to take you away because I see what's going on at home or whatever the reason and I just want you to feel special and that meant a lot to me like seriously she took the time to catch the bus to my school and there's five of us kids and I mean six of us but the five didn't even know and she took the time and we went shopping for like two hours and I remember picking up some refrigerator magnets like my first time getting refrigerator magnets like I was so happy to get these little 10 cent bag of refrigerator magnets but we had ice cream and we talked and we walked and boy oh boy that was just like my most memorable moment ever and my grandmother she passed away in my arms I just you know I was taking her out of the bath she had a stroke and she'd had dementia and some other things going on but after her bath and she she was dying and I was looking at her and all I could think of was those loving moments that she took the time out to just say, hey, I'm watching you. I know what you're doing and I appreciate you. And so and she just always tell me, hold your head up and don't let it bother you. And God will give you no more than you can bear. She was always very encouraging. So anyway, like, hello. That's my most memorable moment. And of course, as you can see, it really, really sticks with me. And she's been gone now for a few years, uh, quite a few years, but um, I will never forget that. And I will never forget the time she took for me. So what I wanna know from you, whether it's heart heartfelt or whether it's funny or, you know, whatever it is, I just wanna know your most memorable moment, one that you will never forget. And I just wanna know that. I wanna share that personal experience with you. So. Thank you again, Louisa, for your generous donation. You guys, the sponsor for today, the winner of this challenge or this question tomorrow will be receiving digital files from her shop. And um, you guys stay tuned. Make sure you go to the web, the Facebook page, like her page. Like this video and leave a comment below. So um, I'm looking forward to reading what you write. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.